Gentlemen, stand up and cheer this social media icon. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul. Logan Paul says he's got this game on lock. Like him or not, it's very difficult to argue the point given his success. Logan Paul's feed, heck, this entire planet is flooded with crowds of leeches just wanting to be around him long enough to go viral. He's already earned victories over Rey Mysterio and The Miz. And Paul could add another milestone win to his resume tonight. Mello has a prize. First, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo. This guy has future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Mello ready to do something special. He has returned from the fifth dimension. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Stardust! We thought that Cody Rhodes had finally shed this skin, but it's once again consumed the American nightmare. Now, Cody has always had a penchant for the bizarre, and it has once again returned from the furthest reaches of the cosmos. It's brought him success in the past in the form of the WWE tag title, so who knows what it'll do for Cody this time. Come on, guys. Give me a C. Give me an H. No. Bob and you guys failed the test. Representing Chase University from Draper, North Carolina, weighing in at 216 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, Andre Chase. There's plenty of bravado when this man speaks, but he has quickly become a mentor to many in NXT and WWE. I think he'll have even more enrollment after this match. wonder if Andre can maybe offer Saxton a scholarship to Chase University after the match. Every superstar has to be looking over their shoulder in this fatal four-way match. In this one, we get a chance to see Logan Paul, Carmelo Hayes, 
Stardust and Andre Chase. And this is exactly the situation where you need the advice to keep your head on a swivel. Oh, yeah. A match like this is all about timing and strategizing. There's no easy way to come out of a fatal four from the top. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strong first to the top. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. With the reversal. Up they go. That'll jam your tailbone. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Is he going to do it? Oh, sure. Close to way about five. And now we have Paul. And that was a precisely measured attack. Well, that goes all the way up. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Wow. Oh, cross body. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Paul looked like a natural in that one. Hey, stop. 
stops the count. Lucky him. Oh, my Lord. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Then we see Chase. From behind. Back suplex. The WWE Universe is still alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. Ah, oh, gets caught by the overhand. Close line in the corner. Double impact. On the move. Oh. Ring shaking splash. Looking for the victory. Break up. And the match continues. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Would you are armbar applied? We're in the high. Meanwhile, Paul. Logan Paul has him on Dream Street. Oh, ouch. Uh oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Fujiwara armbar. A devastating hole. It's agonizing just to watch. Rounding something out of there. Trump. Oh, no. He has just completely. It could be over here! This is it! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Ah, oh, put you on our arm bar! Oh, under on the blind. Oh, man! That might have knocked Hayes out for good. Wow! Back to Chase. Double axe handle. Strong win for him. And that definitely made solid impact. Andre Chase with a hammer lock applied into a flatliner. Carmelo Hayes with a suplex into a car. Melo got it. Can he end it? And he breaks up the pinfall. With the Bravo in the corner. And Stardust is one step quicker. And he's Carmelo Hayes gonna turn a suplex. Oh my goodness, what a cut! Hayes landed that perfectly. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Hooked up. DDT. Hayes, around we go into the tilt a world face buster. That's gotta be it. There's two. No, stops the count at two. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. What a drop kick. And there's Stardust with a crucially timed maneuver. Stardust had the advantage here. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Springboard. Superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Stardust has a sense. Dude, there's the Queen's crossbow. Did Stardust just close this out? Over the top rope and followed by the Lariat. For the victory here. Yeah, these guys really put on a barn burner.